Joining me is Susan Credel, uh, the global chair of FCB and the first ever creative advisor for IPG. Yes, that's that sounds about correct. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations, Susan. That's a big one. That's a big new role that you've got yourself there. Tell me what is going to be your approach uh, into fitting into a role <laughs> which never existed. Yeah, well, that's interesting, right? <laughs> yeah, I should have thought about that before I said yes, I would do this. Um, <coughs> I, you know, I, my approach to any job is a little bit of a one, three, five, seven, which is the first year that you're taking on a new role. You kind of observe, even if it's an established role, you look around, you see what culture is doing, mm -hmm. see what people are doing, see what, you know, what, what you're up against internally and externally. And you start to shape things and think about it. Um, I think that, you know, when I, I chose the title creative advisor because I, I've always believed that when you're talking to, you know, CCOs that are running companies, mm -hmm. they should be the leaders. Mm -hmm. They, you know, I wanted that autonomy when I had those roles. And so to me, what I wanted was someone who was in my corner coaching me, helping me. You know, they say it's lonely at the top. Well, maybe an advisor can make it a little less lonely. Um, so I think that's the first thing is just to be, you know, I've been in this business 30 years. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of experience and, you know, if I can help people not have the failures that I had because I can tell them don't do that mm -hmm. or to say where I got to success faster. So I think that's the first part of the advisor role. I also think as we look at what we call holding companies, I don't mm -hmm. think that's a correct term uh, because by definition, a holding company does not get involved with the products and services of the companies that they hold. Okay. They manage them from a portfolio of finance. Okay. <clears throat> so we obviously are, the, the companies, IPGs of the world, are involved with the products and services of the companies that they hold, which means that, and I think Philippe Krakowski recognized this when we were talking last year, you need to have a creative voice at the table. You have to have somebody representing that part of the things that we do in marketing and advertising. So that's the other reason is I think advising mm -hmm. IPG yeah. on what gets our agencies to the greatest amount of success fast. So having a voice at that table, mm -hmm. uh, representing uh, agencies, you know, underneath IPG. And so. you know, while you'll be uh, handling many more agencies under IPG, you'll also be relinquishing your role at FCB. <laughs> so does that make you sad? It has yes. been your baby for nine years. Yes, I, I, I don't have children, but I imagine what it must feel like when parents watch their 20 year olds drive away in a car with all their stuff mm -hmm. and they're not coming back <laughs> and you're like oh that's um you know it's you wish them well and you hope that you've taught them well you hope mm -hmm. that they've taken some of the things that you taught them you know when they were growing up and that they hold on to them and i think so mm -hmm. i mean i look around at you know the assets the language that we speak at fcb and i don't think that will go you know, I don't think that's going to go with me. I think it's going to stay. So, and it's not, it's kind of nice. It's a rare, I think it's a rare thing when you're leaving your job, but you're not really leaving. You're not Got like when I, when I left BBDO to go to Leo Burnett or when mm -hmm. I left Leo Burnett to come to FCB, that's a big, hard cut. Yeah. You know, you are, it's, that was gut, you know, it was so hard. Mm -hmm. Um, but this one, it's a gentle hard. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. And also are you, how, what made you pick? the successor you know, as uh, Andrea's successor. <clears throat> so I'm just, well, first of all, I'm really proud of all the CCOs that we have around the world. And I've always talked about, you know, every year the succession plan. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we would go up to IPG and they'd be like, if you were to be hit by a bus, who? And we pretty much knew in year three or four or five mm -hmm. that the best thing for FCB would to be lift someone up from internal okay. because we do it's a special way that we get to the work that we get to and the the, the jobs that we do mm -hmm. and to have someone else come in and start changing up everything I think would have been terribly disruptive mm -hmm. so what I loved about Andres and and like I said we have a suite of CCOs that I would have been happy mm -hmm. to have taken my job mm -hmm. um, but I think Andres, <clears throat> a couple of things. Chicago is our biggest office. Uh, he's been very passionate about the language, the mm -hmm. DNA of FCB. Uh, and 
yeah, it's 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 it, it's it's just great. To, I don't think this happens that often where somebody internally gets lifted up. <clears throat> I guess it does. Maybe I'm trying to think back. Maybe it happens a little bit, but it's really nice when you don't have to bring someone in from the outside. And I think that was the other thing is that we didn't need to fix anything. Right. So, you know, I think that's when you go outside is when mm -hmm. you're at that place where you're like, we got to make some changes. Right. Whereas continue, you know, mm -hmm. repeat and do better. And I think Andres brings some of the things I like about Andres is he um, he's very much into innovation, tech, mm -hmm. thinking about new ways to, to go into the market with creativity and mm -hmm. I'm more, I'm much more of a foundational thinker. Mm -hmm. Like there there are practices that you if you lean into, you're going to have success. And we that's what we've done the last nine years. We've got the foundational sort of basics under control. Mm -hmm. And now I think um, you know I think he can add that. And I think he's also <coughs> I'm a little bit of an introvert, mm -hmm. and I know it's weird. <laughs> you, you wouldn't think it, but it is. It's like, um, and he's much more of an extrovert. Mm -hmm. You know wanting to talk to people all the time, whereas I'm much more like, I'm going to give you a lot of space. Um, to, we're different, you know, which I think is right. I think mm -hmm. it's good. It's like, you don't want a mini me. You want, you know, what's what's next? Um, Makes sense. Yeah. No, but you also have, you know, very interesting that you brought someone in from inside to lead, yeah. to be on a global level. And in India, you've had a completely different approach. You brought in Thera <clears throat> from a different agency. And yeah. I remember when I was here last year, uh, chatting with Tina, yeah. and I spoke about the triumvirate of uh, Susan Chandni and uh, Swati back in right, right. India. Uh, of course, Swati has left. Now, what has, uh, how has bringing Dheeraj into that mix shaken things up? I, yeah, it, it's interesting because I think, um, you know, Rohit, you know, wanted, wanted to do something different. And that's usually, you know, that, that, was, the, that was the change. Mm -hmm. And I think Swati too, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it is a thing that, you know, you come in to do something, and I think when you do it, you're like, okay, I think, I think I've, I've, I've finished. I think that <clears throat> with Diraj, uh, first of all, what he did at Leo Burnett, I found exceptional. You know, mm -hmm. and when we chatted, he has that energy and the sort of space to go to the next mm -hmm. level. And I think that when we looked at India, it looked like that there was room to sort of bring, there was space for somebody to bring mm -hmm. a point of view in. Thank you. And, you know, so the, the key thing with Diraj is when we were talking is to make sure he bought into at least the fundamentals of well, how we work at FCB. Like we're generous with, with each other. We're not mm -hmm. isolationists, you know, mm -hmm. the network works together. Um, right. We know each other, we care about each other. It, those, so, so those kind of things, we needed to make sure that he felt that way. I think he mm -hmm. has a, you know, he has a great competitive spirit that uh, is, I think, what India needs right now mm -hmm. um, to go to the next level. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's interesting. It's going to be fun. And tell me, if you had to literally pinpoint, like you spoke about, you know, how on, on a global level, there was nothing to fix. Mm -hmm. If you were to talk about India, mm -hmm. uh, what is that one thing that needed fixing or any improvement on that level, which the I, can bring in? I'm hoping, and this is one of the things that we talked about last year, about this time, was the work that we were doing that was getting honored and it's beautiful work. Um, but we have a, a, a saying at FCB, do your best work on your biggest brands. Mm -hmm. And what I liked about what Diraj was doing is that he was doing recognizable, you know, mm -hmm. respected work on big, <clears throat> big, hard brands. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> that's where I'm hoping that we'll see some real energy, which is that mm -hmm. on the clients to keep the lights on, they also keep the uh, mm -hmm. creative awards coming. And that's when you don't want those two things separated. You don't want the award-winning work that mm -hmm. gets, is reputational and then the work that mm -hmm. drives the, the agency profits. They should do work together. Right. It, I mean, we believe that creativity is an economic multiplier. And to prove that, mm -hmm. we have to put that creative against our biggest businesses, you know, that, and, and where it matters most. And that's when you really, I think, see the importance of creativity versus just loving it and making you feel good. It's like, it's mm -hmm. got, it's got to work. It, right. The work has to work. And you know, FCB has doing, uh, has been doing very well at Cannes this year, but uh, on an India level, we haven't really uh, converted uh, mm -hmm. any shortlists into uh, metals at FCB. Right. So is that something that uh, you're unhappy about? Or do you think, uh, of course, this was a work in progress here for 
uh, Dheeraj and team. Yeah. Uh, but does that, you know, that winning streak over the past yeah. uh, five years, if I may say so, and that kind of yeah. got interrupted. So yeah. what do you really think about I'm that? I'm really patient. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm like, I, nobody remembers. Mm -hmm. If you're, if, if you're, as long as you have an ambition and you're building towards it and you're making the right decisions, you know, it's like, I'm, I always go back to agriculture. You know, the dirt has to look pretty plain and ugly mm -hmm. before the crops look beautiful and grow. Wow. And, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like you got to till the soil. And, you know, I, I live across the street from a farm and I see it every season, you know, mm -hmm. right when everything looks like, wow, is anything happening there? And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. if you're taking care of the soil the right way, you're getting it right, you're getting the nutrients right, mm -hmm. you put the seeds in and fruit, you know, it's fruitful. And so I, as long as I see the proactivity of tilling the soil, getting it ready, mm -hmm. I, I got time. I got time. <laughs> but I think Dheeraj will have that pressure of making sure that the soil bears fruit by next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and he already is. I mean, you know, he said, we were talking last week and he said, I'm bringing all my leads, creative leads to camp. Mm -hmm. And he said, and I know it sounds counterintuitive because you think you should only come when you're going on stage, when you've got work in the, and I think that's, I think that's a little silly. Mm -hmm. It's like the people who should come to Cannes are the people that want to get on stage. It's like, how are you going to learn, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't see? So I think the fact that, and they're, they're working really hard. Like they, they, I mean, he's, he's meeting with them every day. They go look at work. They talk about it. They talk about the ambition, what clients that they have mm -hmm. that are the first to bet on for taking them on this wonderful jo creative journey. Mm -hmm. <coughs> if he wasn't doing that, I'd be, I would be worried. Mm -hmm. But the fact that I see him actively making decisions to get ready mm -hmm. to, to have a crop, right. <coughs> a creative crop, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. He's. I think uh, FCB has brought in one of the biggest contingents this year. And I remember last year it would be just maybe Rohit and a couple others. Mm -hmm. And this year we have like the full team. Yeah. And he's also like hired a lot of people. Yes. Uh, from Leo Burnett, even otherwise. Yeah. Uh, and that's a new team that is going to get us some action. I think. I think so. <laughs> I think. So. I think when you combine the culture of FCB with Diraja's vision, mm -hmm. I think those two things together. Uh, you know, he's done it before. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he's in a very supportive culture that's pulling for him. Mm -hmm. I think he'll do it again. Any, any advice did you, did you, when he came on board? Did you give him something to hold on to? It, I mean, I think mainly what we said, which is that we win together. We're mm -hmm. here to support him. Mm -hmm. we, we're not in a judgy, like, let's go, let's go, let's go <laughs> situation. I, 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 the reason I said I'm patient is I really believe I'd rather get there a little slower and it be real. Mm -hmm then get there faster and it'd be a little fake. And a lot of times what happens around here, mm -hmm. you're like, is that foundational like to, to who they are or is it a little thing that they did on the side out of panic to make sure that they showed up? Mm -hmm. I don't like that kind of solution. Mm -hmm. I like it to be real and you know, it's in the DNA of the agency that we know how to get to this work. And I think, you know, that's, that's what he's doing and he knows how to do it, you know. <laughs> I remember last time when I spoke to you, you spoke about how Cannes has become uh, this mecca for soft stories. And, you know, we need to add some fun. Uh, yes. <clears throat> so do you think this year at Cannes, we are seeing that fun? Has it come back to Cannes? More. Okay. I think a little bit. But I, yeah, I mean, look, we just we just won a Grand Prix for barf bags for drama. Oh, an amazing. <laughs> so, so I would say we're trying. <laughs> we're trying to add a little levity to this you know, industry. Um, I still think we, and maybe this is a good thing as human beings, we get seduced by mm -hmm. nice, you know, helping people, helping the world. I personally, a lot of the times, I don't think that's our job. I really, mm -hmm. I get worried sometimes when we get into this, we figured out how to si solve, you know, climate change. And I'm like, there are, there are brilliant people who haven't figured this out. If we think we're figured it out, I'm, just, I'm, I'm scared. Um, and it's not that we shouldn't be doing that kind of work, but I, I don't think that's what our real job is day to day. Our job is to move economy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's to grow businesses. It's to innovate on products. We we are we're in a you know economy thing. You know, we 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 sell products and we build brands. Mm -hmm. We sell services, and we should be doing that. 
And yes, I, I agree that when, you know, when you are making a decision, you mm -hmm. make a decision with your heart. And if you believe a company is doing good things in the world, there's a good chance that mm -hmm. moves your heart a little bit. But I think we have to be balanced about it. Um, and don't and don't forget that we also. I mean, it's just fun. To, it, it's nice. I, uh, I was with a woman, Nick Taylor, who's in-house Lego mm -hmm. um, creative, and I, she's she's awesome. But we were looking at some work that was just, you know, traditional print and stuff like that. And we we decided we were not going to use the word traditional anymore. We were going to use mm -hmm. the word proper. That is a okay. proper ad. That is a proper piece of advertising. And. Okay. Um, you know, I still, when I go down to the basement of the Palais, my favorite thing to look at is print and outdoor mm -hmm. because it's so fast. It's mm -hmm. so good. It has to deliver a message so quickly. And um, and you realize that even when they're selling just, you know, a product, mm -hmm. if they sell it in a beautiful, creative way, even if they're not saving the world, mm -hmm. you love the brand. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the big campaigns that you're really betting on? Of course, some of them have already converted mm -hmm. on a global stage, but apart from that, even from India, for that <clears throat> matter. Well, I would, um, I have to say I'm not as up to speed with it, what's coming out of India. And I think we talked about that it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a light year um, this year. <coughs> um, I think in our, in our world, I we've got barf bags, which I mentioned. We've got spread beats for Spotify. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's low tech, lo fi, um, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Lap of Legends, which is our latest Michelob Ultra, which I'm really proud of that team because they could have stopped mm -hmm. five years ago with this mm -hmm. crazy, what do you think we can do next sort of creative. Mm -hmm. um, and they just keep coming up with really imaginative, crazy ways to deliver on it's only worth it if you enjoy it. Uh, so that one's that one's doing really well. It's, um, it's interesting. We were saying that if every agency in FCB had one beautiful piece, mm -hmm. you would it would be a spectacular can. Spectacular. It doesn't. Then I think that's the thing is it only takes one or two, mm -hmm. you know, beautiful things, wonderful things. And if every agency could do a little bit of that, uh, and I, I like thinking about it that way because then it it um, it makes it possible. Mm -hmm. attainable like when you when somebody goes we need you to deliver 17 lions next year you're like i don't know how to do that but if you just say do one great thing mm -hmm. just do one great thing one great thing will will support you we'll figure it out mm -hmm. but everybody put one thing on the table it's kind of like i always think about it as like thanksgiving dinner mm -hmm. uh you don't want one relative to bring everything <laughs> you know if everybody brings a little bit it's a really great dinner yeah. If one person's responsible for the whole dinner, you kind of hate everybody at the table. <laughs> so that's great. I, I'm sure FCB is going to perform just the way you want it to. Mm -hmm. And everybody's going to put in that one big campaign on the table every year. For yeah, that's been the goal. And, and what, what normally happens, sadly, is you don't get mm -hmm. the full suite. But every year it's slightly different. Like, you know, one year London will pick mm -hmm. up the slack. <laughs> Somebody's making Thanksgiving dinner. Back there. <laughs> so some anger going on. Um, yeah. So it does. It does rotate. Um, mm -hmm. I'm actually one of the uh, pieces that I'm really proud of is Brazil's Shameless Pad, mm -hmm. which is um, they got pro sports player women to when they were playing on their period mm -hmm. to wear the brand okay. on their shorts. Okay. Which is pretty brave. I mean, mm -hmm. to think about, and because we found out that young girls, when they had their period, didn't think that they could play okay. sports. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, you can perform. This mm -hmm. is not, and especially and what I love about it is it says that you can trust the product to let you perform at your best. So, mm -hmm. it, um, and I think it's, I was talking to the Brazilian t team that did it and you know, they're not one and done. They're going to continue to push on this platform. So, mm -hmm. I like that. It's done. A, it's it's gotten some bronzes and things, so it's it's nice. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I don't know. I look around the I'm going around the world to all the agencies, and that everybody's got plans. And I also think that the the creative that really gets honored, it's hard to do it in one year. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things that we just said it's not ready this year. Okay. You know, take your time, do it right. We don't work for the awards. We mm -hmm. work for the work. And we hope that when we do the work right, people recognize what we've done. I think they always recognize what you've done. So thank you so much. Thank you. So it's an always, always wonderful speaking oh, to you. Oh, I love it. It's good to see you. <laughs>